things can change. We've got D-Gods um, <laughs> saying that there are going to be 0% royalties on all their collections. Let's make this bigger for everyone. 0% royalties on all their collections going forward. We are updating D-Gods, Tubes, and Utes all to zero royalties. We still believe that royalties are an incredible use case of NFTs. We will continue to support creators that want to find solutions to enforce royalties. We believe this is the best decision for our business at this time. So they're not saying that this is the best decision for everyone's business at all times. They're saying, particularly for them, this is the best decision at this particular time. Now, Cade, you and I have uh, done a detailed chat on royalties, and it's anyone who's interested, check out the YouTube channel. But I've got my own sort of um, belief here. I think that the only reason that DGODs would have done this is if they've got some sort of um, investment coming in. No, they got I an investment already. I just found this out. More. Oh, when did you find it out? Like three days ago. They have, I, after I did the live stream, I was like, look, this doesn't make any sense. The only way they could do this is if they've got a $5 million bag already in the books. Otherwise, there's it's too risky for no reason. And I found out that they have a private investment of $7 million. That's why they're able to do this because it makes no sense. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where's the money coming from? Like, there's no way you can just cut out all your royalties, especially from a top project where this is an yeah. actual revenue stream. Like, for most projects, so have they officially. And have they officially announced this? It's it's not like it's private, but it's definitely not really like that public. Like he hasn't really talked about it. And he he mentioned that he's they don't have VC funding for D gods or Utes, which is true. But he he didn't exactly tell the truth. He kind of left out a big portion, which is we actually did get VC funded, but it's for Dust Labs, which also encompasses D gods and Utes. But technically, there's no VC fund for the NFT project. But they're going to use all the money for Dust Labs, which is the same thing anyway. So he kind of just like didn't really answer the question. I don't really know what that's about. That's all I know is that they have money. You know, and I've got so, another theory, bro. What's up? You want to hear it? I I think that he did have knowledge of this SEC investigation into the Broad APR Club. I think he did. And that tweet is, is is proof of that because it's exactly this fits into that. It's not great in the in the beginning, but for the in the long term it's good. And I think in a way to protect the D God's ecosystem, royalties mm. do factor into it. The fact that you you getting a continual royalty on the sales makes it more like a security than if you're sure. not. So it's possible. Uh, that this was a way to protect the D-Gods ecosystem should long game, two, three years time, the SEC finds that NFTs that do give royalties are securities, the D-Gods ecosystem is protected. Yeah, I think it's a combo of both. I, th I would say that's exactly right. I'd say they got the money and they were like, we don't need this. We don't need the royalties anymore. Even though like the no, one thing- We don't thing need that, the risk. Yeah, they don't need the risk. But the one thing that I thought was interesting is that the artist has a, a, an entitlement to like one or 2%. And either they found out, found another way to, to finance that, or they're just not going to pay the artist. So. so, so as far as I know, the artist has left because of this decision. Oh, because exactly what you say. That's they were fucked. supposed to get a percentage of royalties, um, and now there's no royalties. So what am I working for, right? Well, it's um, just not fair. Like that was the deal. So yeah. Well, they could always say, "Look, this is what we we, we could give you a percentage of sales and not call it a royalty." So we could look and it's on the blockchain we could look every month what our sales are and still give you but um that's why the youth's art is being further delayed and it's been oh. delayed for already Dude, because yeah. they don't have an artist anymore i don't know but man they'll find, I, I mean they'll find another artist that's not the, the amount different. dude the amount of of delays and miscommunications and frank's brought it up multiple times how he's like that's something they're working on it just doesn't seem to get any better and it's a solana project which gives me a little bit of like all right well solana is for dgens bro like it just is the fact that the top project just like can't make any kind of deadline i'm like that is not like, that, that's a I, reason don't think, I, I don't think that's a representation of solana i think it's a representation of frank i think he's young I think he's very young. Um, the fact that he's done so well as far as the sales and the funding go is, is absolutely incredible. Um, but I do think that he's inexperienced in these sort of things. I mean, I've learned in business, always under promise, bro. 
and over deliver always always never the other way around if you say something's going to be done at a certain time it has to be um you know that's that's something there so i mean i i think i think that he's very very young but i i'm not concerned about it uh, being one that he ups and leaves i do believe he's committed to it yeah. i wish he would stop covering his face because I hate that. You know me. I've told you. I've had guys who wanted big guys and projects who wanted to come on the show. Um, even paid reviews. They wanted to do an hour interview, but they're going to be a PFP. They're going to be. Uh, uh, they're not going to dox. And I said, unfortunately, not. If if you can't show your face, I don't. I, I worry about your intentions. Whether I'm right or wrong, a different story. Um, but I I don't know. That doesn't sit well. When I saw him on the interview with Champ, and he was sitting there covering his face, it's like, what the hell are you hiding from? You know, why, what, what's in the back of your mind that you don't want people to know who you are? Do you intend yeah. on jumping ship? Why? Why not show your face? <coughs> yeah, I don't really understand it, honestly, but I mean, whatever. I, I guess the, the, re the main point I brought up there for Solana was like, that's the typical mindset, though, of, of the DGENs. Like, it's just not as secure and it's not as legit. It's just oh, I agree. Kind of I agree around, with right? you. That's but why I think DGENs is legit. Yeah, I mean, that's why I think DGENs is legit. 